Welcome to SAP Electronic Bank Statement Training Course. In this course, we are going to learn the following things. One, understanding the business process flow, end to end. Understanding the entries in EBS process flow, like what are the entries in payment side, receipt side and direct entries. Understanding the statement format. This Understanding the algorithm complete configuration required for EBS understanding search string user exit we will see what exactly we are going to cover in under each topic business process flow session we will understand what are the process flows in SAP like with IDAC and without IDAC and in without IDAC there are two process flows like uh, online processing and batch processing we will understand end to end like uh, how to means upload the file and how to process the file in case of online and batch processing and uh, where should we go in case of any errors like uh, feban post processing that we will discuss here with the help of one flowchart now coming to the understanding entries in EBS process this is divided into three parts one is the payment side and here payment side we will analyze the business process flows in payment side and we will understand the entries required for EBS configuration this is purely based on the customer to customer it will differ so you have to understand the customer business process flows accordingly you have to design your uh, configuration from receipt side also we will do the same thing we will analyze the receipts like a customer is making the direct uh, transfers or customer is giving the checks or so these kind of the things we will analyze and we will see the entries uh, important entries required for ebs configuration and direct debit entries Direct debit entries means like bank charges or commission, anything directly debited by the bank into our uh, uh, statement. So, how to handle these kind of the things we will see. Now, coming to the understanding the file format here. Here we are uh, trying to understand the MT940 file format from starting to ending. With the scratch, we will go letter by letter so that uh, while designing the test file, you, you should have the clear understanding of the file format. This is only the sample here is here we have the sample but uh, coming to this session then it will be in detail you will understand each uh, one clearly so now MT940 generally this will be used in Europe and uh, BI2 format will be used used in US in India we will use only MT940 we don't have any BI2 format here coming to the algorithm we will see the, what is the concept of the algorithm Will understand clearly then we will how to use it in SAP and when to go for the custom algorithm what is the custom algorithm we will understand here why should we go for custom algorithm then we will do the practical exercise on uh, this algorithm based on different different scenarios there like a check number and document number reference number and when to use the no interpretation that we will understand after the previous session then we will go for the complete configuration from the scratch creating the GL up to the last step we will do practically and here we will have one uh, reference manual as well reference means uh, notes you can download the notes for your uh, reference purpose understanding the search string so now what is the concept of the search string and uh, when to use the search string and what is the configuration required for the search string here we will understand here we will do the practical practicals on a search string we will understand with the help of our exercise practically there is no EBS configuration without search string that you have to remember so this is the core part in EBS last one is the user exit so what is the concept and when to go for the user exit and we will take the one issue real time issue based on that issue we will analyze the issue we will see whether it can be fit in the standard configuration or not if it is not working then we will go for uh, our own logic with the help of a user exit here we will uh, implement the search string from the scratch we will understand the steps we will do the, our coding then we will prepare one test case and we will test the same apart from this one we may have other topics as well that we will see during the session itself like small small topics will be there we cannot go and put everything in the introduction itself thank you very much